Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! All wings! What's up? Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. Had to create more space though. So it took a while. Although managed to complete the first entire the entire first season, which is eight episodes long. And it just had enough space after that. Didn't have enough. Mm. Hopefully those videos are still uploaded because I uploaded that. And I had to delete all that capture gallery stuff. Okay, it's still here. I like this music. To, can I tell you your story to add a backstory from previous seasons? Yeah, I'm gonna do that and there's not gonna be a season 3 for this because Tento went bankrupt if I haven't said it before. And you know, I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I like the music in season 2 better than season 1. Import save one. And yet you still choose a skin even if you've imported skins. So I guess the gender and skin is not saved from the first season. Which is kind of strange, actually. I mean, there's still the season one skins. I'm just gonna go with my season one skin. This one only has five episodes, so this is shorter than the first one. I do they not wear that armor there. That I wear different armor. Obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy. I still did not they wear that armor. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. I chose Soon, different armor. They were the most famous people. Not Elagard still. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. That's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes ever. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Well, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely 
slightly exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> well, you're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. Olivia sounds different in this season. Next year. I can't believe this is founding day already. Sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. It took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. A real hero. If a day in Minecraft lasts 20 minutes, how long is a year? Yeah. We were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um. Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, you're in turn. There's radar. Yeah, that's radar. Jesse, oh, hey, radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, Axel, sir, Lucas, Lucas sir. sir. So sorry, sorry to interrupt, interrupt everyone. Aw, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right on. Olivia right. has a crush on Radar confirmed. I kinda liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. And for that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Um, uh, about that. We actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. <sighs> it's still Thanks, Jesse. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said it. Next time, for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the order hall with the order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the river store. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Elagard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Magnus and Elagard is mentioned totally. in here. Yeah, this has been great. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. Always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest so town in the whole world. Beacon Town. Mouth is barely moving. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, too dangerous. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I 
Be fetched by the main gate to the town. Helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. I think you have a maximum of two without being late because you can be late in this game. I don't want to be late because otherwise Petra will be real mad. Oh yeah, there's my Enderman there. Remember from episode one and season one? I think it's right to here. Jesse, dude! No! I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Let everybody be themselves. Super individualistic house over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't like fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make like a good first impression, you know? Which thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Ah, uh, my ear. Not yeah, sure it's... if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! You make the statue of whatever you want it to be. And this is like manual building. Imagine making a penis in here. That would be funny. But I'm just gonna use every single block because I don't wanna waste them. So I'm just gonna make. Gonna use every single block that I have on me. Is a tree. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, me amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? 
Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yay, Stampy and Stacy. It's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. Radar, this is Stacy plays. Why isn't Dan or Lizzie return? And why would they do that? Here, Jesse. Give him a bone and then call him right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna get a table wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. I got two bones. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Okay, Ruby Memorial, yes, I'm gonna do this. This pig that ever lived. Oh, oh man. I wish I could have met Ruben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. I think he would have liked you. Yeah? Oh yeah, I bet you would have totally been friends. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are, what are, you, doing are you doing here? Oh, oh wow. wow, this is actually this is perfect. perfect. Profound profound indeed this year. We're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Yeah, Ru Reuben would be an adult pig at this point. I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, Piggy. Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunder Pork the Sixth. Von Thunder Pork the Sixth. This sounds like my like a a leader. No question. Look at that regal little guy. Really? I, I knew that's how you choose. Fantastic! Congratulations! Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. How do you tell the difference anyway? We all, the, the, the all three look exactly the same. I'm gonna grab a sugar cane, but that looks important. Sugar, nice. I'm gonna visit Stampy. Hello, Jesse. I am telling you, Stampy. It needs, it needs to be pumpkin pie. pie. But cake, cake is the best. best. And I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go, those leading presentations again. Just not everyone no, likes like cake, Stampy. Why don't we have both? Oh, that's, oh, that's a, a wonderful, wonderful idea, idea, but we don't, we don't have enough ingredients. It's, it's true. true. Here, Here, you should, should just take, take the ingredients and decide for us. us. Yes, yes, I feel we're going to be debating in circles all, all day, day, otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. I'm gonna grab this egg over here and grab that egg because they're good. Okay. Stampy and Stacy's in disagreement. Excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Where are the male pigs anyway? We I mean, always put eggs for the random piggies. 
I'm telling you, Stacey, you're just being too narrow-minded with your pastry selection. People love cake. Right. And some people love pie. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. You wouldn't have happened to have made a decision on this whole cake versus pie thing yet, have you? Yes, it's still quite the source of frustration. I'm working on it. Okay, maybe I just wasted something there. Maybe a... Okay, show recipes. Show recipes. Cake, sugar. Oh yeah, sugar. Need to make sugar. Because you need extra sugar. Now you need to manu manually make... Let me make the pumpkin pie first. Pumpkin, sugar, and egg. That's not what I meant to do. Pumpkin... Sugar. Okay, pumpkin pie. So two sugar, egg, milk, wheat. She said cake, she said pie, and I said, why don't we just have both? <laughs> well, this is very surprising. How did <laughs> some pie, like one piece of pie, one piece of cake, make a whole stand for loads of cake and pie? Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. Makes no sense, actually. Cake and pie. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! Jesse! Over here! I can't go that way because of an invisible wall. Am I on time? I'm a nice guy. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your... Adventure things. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Alright, Petra says, Ah, you're late. Then I'm just gonna be like, Frick. Because hopefully I am not a late. Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? The plain old iron sword. Oh, I miss this. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. Hey, zombies are freaking rotting. I got that move now, for this season. Yep, and you got Stanima as well. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice! Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you got rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Yeah, I guess it has been a while since I've done this. Well, that's obvious. You're not even wearing a good suit of armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? 
Look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Why did the armor change? I don't know why he changed it. I like the old one better. Stupid. So much zombies attacking me at once. I was ganged up on by the zombies. I, must say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Oh, come on. You know you're more important to me than all of them. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. But, uh, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has Boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas. He's writing. I figured. Man, friends have gotten mean. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now. You're right. It is lame. It just isn't the same without them. See, I know you get it. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? Oh. Tell you what we find. Just trust me. It's important. What was that? Come on, let's race. Wait, what? It's monster hunting time. Hey, it's Jesse. What's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> oh, perfect. We're starving. Hey, I was gonna eat that. Obviously. Oh, frick, I did not see that. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Huh. Huh, look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. Mystery's what makes it fun! Come on! Oh, frick, I forgot to press the button. And while I die, this early, huh? Where'd you go? Where'd what go? You died in the lamest way possible. So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. Mystery is what makes it fun. Come on. How did it come out the lava? Jeez, more of these guys! 
boom. I'm gonna win the race. What? But you. Uh. And Jesse takes the lead.